Hi, I'm Patrick Murtaugh. I'm Eric McKay. We're the co-founders of the Hardywood Park Craft Brewery. Come inside, we'll give you a tour of the brewery and a rundown of the brewing process. So when we brew Hardywood Single, we start out with our base malt, which is a very light colored Pilsner malt. Um, provides a really nice, uh, brilliant sort of golden color to a beer. Um, and uh, contributes all the sugars that ultimately will be converted into uh, alcohol and carbon dioxide. Uh, we also use a little bit of wheat and torrefied wheat, which provides a little bit of uh, sort of a pleasant mouthfeel and a bit of turbidity to the beer, so it's a nice hazy beer. We use hops to balance out the, the sweetness from the malt. Hops are a tiny flower that uh, they grow mostly in the Pacific Northwest and the Northeast, uh, some more and more in Virginia. Um, but the flower is uh, what produces these tiny little lupulin glands, these tiny little yellow spores, and they pr provide a resiny character and bitterness to the beer that both partly acts as a natural preservative but also um, balances out the sweetness from the malt. And then yeast to convert all the sugars in the wort into alcohol and carbon dioxide. End result is a fresh, delicious beer. Okay, so we'll do a quick walk through the brewing process. Uh, this is the mash tun. This is where we uh, mash our malt uh, with uh, hot water. We'll, for the single, we'll put in about 1,300 pounds of Pilsner malts, torrefied wheat, and a couple other ingredients. Uh, once it's done mashing for about an hour, we'll send it over to the brew kettle where we add the hops. Uh, once it's done boiling, we have to cool it down to about 70 degrees. So we'll run it through the heat exchanger here and uh, into the fermenters where it'll sit for about a month. Uh, once it's done fermenting, we'll send it over to the bright tanks. Uh, and the bright tank is where we can carbonate it and uh, put it into kegs and bottles. My name is Chris Adams and this is Sedona Tap House. Um, what I want to do is kind of walk you through a really basic craft beer 101. There's a lot to cover, so we're just going to kind of scratch the surface and we'll go from there. We'll talk a little bit about different styles and touch on the two, uh, basically the two different types of beer, and that's all there is. Two types, you have ales and lagers. Ales, the primary difference is ales use a top fermenting yeast and lagers use a bottom fermenting yeast. And what I have here in front of me are a few examples of some of those ales. Um, we have a Belgian style single, a Scottish ale, a dry Irish stout, and a Hefeweizen. All right, first we're gonna to touch on the Belgian style single. This is from Hardywood Brewery, everybody's new local favorite. Um, uh, not all Belgian singles tend to have the same um, flavor. They're pretty close, but they all have, you know, they have their small differences. Um, you'll find that they're very clean. Little bit of a zesty flavor to them, kind of an effervescent, a little bit of an earthiness to them. Next one we're gonna cover is a Scottish ale. Char characteristic of Scottish ales tend to be that they are very, just kind of sweet and malty, They're kind of robust, not so, not really high in alcohol, but right around the six, seven percent range. They're a little more hearty. And the next style we're going to talk about is one that everybody's pretty familiar with, the um, Irish Stout. And of course, this is Guinness in front of me. Dry Irish Stouts tend, as kind of the name implies, they do tend to have a little bit of dryness. They uh, tend to be a little more roasty or not too terribly much, and they are darker because of those roasted malts. All right, and the last style I'm going to talk about is Hefeweizen. What kind of separates them is they use wheat as their primary grain. Um, and they tend to have flavors of, you're going to get a little, a little citrus zest, specifically, specifically lemon. You're going to have a lot of coriander, a lot of uh, clove flavors. Um, a lot of people say when they drink them, they, it almost tastes like banana to them. But that just kind of scratches the surface. Um, I kind of urge everybody to go out and try all the different styles, find what you like, find what you don't like, see what you can find that you enjoy, that's the whole, that's the whole idea, that's what makes craft beer so much fun, is the discovery aspect.